Okay, so I just arrived at my parents' house. It is Wednesday evening and I'm now about to do my normal SPD. Um, it's not an overly heavy session. We're now going into week three, so things are starting to get a bit heavier. Um, but I know like last week's didn't feel particularly heavy and it wasn't the best of sessions. So I'm pretty confident that today will feel pretty good. Um, food and everything has also been really good this week. Uh, we are now going into comp weekend. Apologies for the noise in the background. That is my mum's washing machine. It's ridiculously loud. Um, yeah, so the comp I'm hosting is this Saturday. So it's now Wednesday. So the plan for the rest of the week is basically just survive. Um, tomorrow I am driving to Essex to collect kit for the comp. So that's about a two hour drive from mine. Um, and then on Friday, I'm going to Bedford, which is again about two hours from mine to collect the rest of the kit. And then we are setting up the venue Friday evening and then first thing Saturday before everyone gets there or as people arrive, we're just gonna do the final bits. Um, but essentially the next few days are gonna be manic. And then Sunday, I am dropping the first lot of kit back off and then Monday, the final bits of kit. Um, so I don't know what I'm more nervous for. I'm really excited to get the, the comp kind of set up because I feel like I'm at the point now where I'm sure we have forgot stuff, but until we start setting up and, you know, get the day started, I'm not gonna know what. I'm a little bit nervous about driving a van. Never driven a van before in my life. And my friend I'm hosting with isn't old enough to drive a hire van. So that is my responsibility, which is fine. Um, but a little bit nervous, never driven one before. Had to get the biggest one we could as well, because it's a lot of kit and it's all gonna be really heavy. And at the end of the comp on Saturday night, we need to get all of it in one van load because I don't think there's going to be anyone else there. My dad might potentially bring his so that we can maybe put some in his van, but it's probably going to be just my van that I've hired. So a bit chaotic, but it should be fine. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film. So my camera is being used for the live stream for the comp. So I'm not going to be able to do any kind of vlogging or anything or record anything of the actual comp on the day. Um, to be honest, I'm probably not even going to have time to film anything else. I'm literally just going to be survival mode. Um, I've got a plan in place for how I am still going to train Saturday night after everything's done. But it'll probably be a late one. Um, but yeah, let's just see kind of how the rest of the week goes. Um, one thing I am a little bit stressed over is the food side of things, because I know for a fact, like I've, I've done so much meal prep. Like I've literally, that bag behind me is full of meals. So I'm gonna be staying here for the next few nights um, after today. So I bought my food with me today ready, so I don't have to bring it tomorrow. Um, I've got loads of meal prep, loads of snacks and things planned. Um, but I just don't think it's gonna be possible for me to actually hit my macros. I'm a bit more worried about going under than over. Um, yeah I'm gonna just see just gotta make sure I recover and although I'm gonna be doing a lot of lifting and stuff for setting up and collecting kit and everything I need to just also prioritize recovery and things so make sure I also get people to help me but yeah thought I'd just update on that but yeah gonna go outside and start training in a sec and get SPD done The after party, show up looking like a zombie. It don't matter, nobody stop me. I'll be there, just tell me where. Damn, I'm a long way home at a split road. Gotta make a choice, do I sober up? Am I trying to keep it going to be continued, or am I trying to lose? Good night, came home for now. I don't think I wanna leave at a tough week Gotta realize this is what I need Don't got the time to be counting sheep It's too late, I'm in too deep Don't wanna contemplate, overcomplicate this And I made my choice, wanna see what's going on I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, I'll be there I'll be there at the after party My body keeps telling me go I know be stacking towers from downtown I'll be on a roll Money soaking, it's a rush hour This, that, overtime, champagne shower Step back, skip lines Yeah, I'm never going cold Oddy, oddy, go ahead, I'll show Don't wanna contemplate, overcomplicate this And I made my choice Wanna see what's going on Okay, so squats are done um, I got them done really quickly. I was literally done within 25 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm not overly happy with them. I'll be honest, 
I think I've lost my momentum on squats. Like they've been the highlight of the off season so far. And I think because it's still such high reps and stuff, it's just like, I'm not enjoying them anymore. Um, so mentally it's just hard for me to force myself to like suck it up and get it done. Obviously I'm still going to suck it up and get it done. But yeah, just mentally, like I'm not really enjoying them as much and I'm just finding it a lot harder. And even though things are moving really well and when I watch them back, they look as easy as they should. When I'm under the bar, but it's a lot of like self-talk, forcing myself to just suck it up and get it done. Um, so yeah, they move really well. So I'm happy with how they moved, but I just didn't enjoy them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I think I didn't execute my top set very well at all, but that's also my own fault because it's literally zero degrees. Um, I've got a tiny little space heater and a little plug-in radiator that haven't really kicked in yet. Um, so it's literally like, I think it's five degrees in this room. And my warm-ups were, obviously I did a little bit of like priming before I got under the bar, um, but my warm-ups were literally 70 for like five reps, 120 for a double, and then did my top set at 145 for six, which when it's a warm day would be my normal warm-ups. Like it's fine, I can get away with doing it. I know my body's healthy enough to be fine with that. Um, but when it's this cold, probably not the smartest choice and it's not something I'd recommend to anyone else. Um, so yeah, it's kind of my fault. I think it was rep four, I literally just dumped at the bottom and I lost tension and it just moved terribly. I think you can see my face where I literally just like rolled my eyes at myself. Um, but yeah, like they're fine. It's nothing to really say. They move like they should. I just mentally just wasn't in it. But I also think with the comp coming up and there's just so much going on in like my personal life as well. Like I'm so busy. Like, it's like chaos in my brain. Um, and although I am finding, I, like, I think last week's video it was, or it might be the week before, I, um, I was talking about the fact that I really struggled at the moment to switch off during my sessions. And actually tonight, I haven't been like distracted by anything. I haven't had messages coming through. I've got everything I needed to done before I started training today so that I literally could just focus on training. Um, Cause I'm very aware this is my last session before the comp. Um, so all apart from like day tomorrow, but like I had no reason to be distracted tonight and I haven't felt distracted in a sense of I've got other things to be doing, but it's like my mind's just not 100% on it. So yeah, not ideal, but I always find squats the hardest part of the session and they are done. So let's get on to my favorite part of every session, bench. Okay, so I've actually finished all my session. I forgot to film a recap of bench. Um, I kind of just wanted to crack on. Um, so I didn't really, in again, I didn't enjoy bench or deadlifts, um, but I'll recap deadlifts in a moment once I've shown you them. Um, yeah, just bench, nothing quite felt right. But again, everything moved fine. The only thing I'm really annoyed by is my three count single was barely two. Um, it was really badly executed. But again, I, my positioning wasn't quite right. Like I didn't quite have my leg drive right tonight. So I wasn't quite in the right position. Um, so all things considered, a two-ish count single at 107, which last block I remember was really difficult. Um, and this is a week earlier as well. So I think last block I did 107 on week four with this block and not on week three and it moved quicker. Yes, the pause wasn't amazing, but I'm pretty sure last block I skimped it even more than I did today. Um, and then six is at 97.5. I mean, they didn't feel great as I did them, but none of them felt max effort either. Like they all felt pretty comfortable. I just, again, didn't enjoy doing them. Um, so yeah, it was definitely just like a grit your teeth, get it done kind of thing. But I can't be mad, like everything moved fine. Um, I'm just praying that this little rut that I'm in is kind of over once this comp is done at the weekend. Um, because I hate not enjoying training. Like it's so rare for me to not enjoy training. Like I love it. Um, but at the moment I'm just not 100% feeling it, but it's fine. Like I know that I've got a date set for comp now. So hopefully that will help me get a bit more excited once this is done. I'm also gonna start my cut hopefully quite soon. Probably the, I'll finish this block and then start my cut. So that'll give me something else to kind of focus on. So yeah, hopefully things get better. Um, but yeah, gonna wrap my recap of bench there. So I'll quickly show you deadlifts and then I'll recap those. Oh shoot, okay I got it. I'll be there. 
Deadlifts move fine. To be honest, they're probably the best lift of the session, which is very rare for me, especially with conventional. Um, again, didn't quite feel natural, but it's fine. Nothing really felt natural tonight, so I'm not too worried about that. I had a very good week one and two, so it's not the end of the world. Things don't feel 100% natural on week three. As long as things now start to pick up for week four and five, I don't really mind that much. Um, but everything moved really comfortably. Um, again, 155 should be quite comfortable for fours, but I'm still a bit hesitant with deadlifts. I'm not 100% confident, but tonight I felt like I had to just sort of pick it up and go and I think that helped me tonight and I kind of just got over that I wasn't worried about injury for once I guess I was just like I want to get it done so I can go home and go to sleep um as early as possible because the next few days are gonna be manic um so yeah so let's move well they didn't quite feel 100% natural but they still moved fine so that's a win and um, the only thing I really struggled with was the bar is so cold that my hands are so sore um they're also so dry now that i've finished training um to the point where i know when i moisturize them later they're gonna hurt but it's fine um i'm just rambling i've not really got anything else to say it's it's been a decent session mine's not 100 in it but hopefully it's just like a little bit of a lull i felt like this for a few weeks but i think this is kind of the worst it's been i really enjoyed saturday's session just gone that was the first session where i kind of felt like maybe i got my like mojo back and i was getting more excited again for training but that's kind of just like dropped back down again tonight but I think as well, like I've got so much going on in my mind. So I'm just struggling to prioritize training. Like training is still my priority, but I've got other things going on as well that are also priority, I guess. Um, and I think also in the back of my mind, I know that my diet's not gonna be 100% the next few days. Like I've, I've prepped so much food. Um, so I've got no excuse to go totally off rails or anything, but I think I'm probably gonna struggle to find time to eat because I'm gonna be driving so much and I'm gonna be away from the house for so long and I'm gonna to wanna to just get to and from and just get things done. Like when I have a task in front of me, I wanna just get it done and I can see myself being like that the next few days um, and then food's gonna be like the back of my mind. So I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've got much else to say. I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here though. So I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I feel like it's been very negative, but it's fine. Um, it happens. We all go through training, like phases where training just isn't enjoyable, um, but I know it's gonna be worth it six months out I think pretty much the day so let's just keep going tick every box that I can and hope that next video after the comp on Saturday I'm really motivated um I am training that night bit nervous how that's gonna go because I'm gonna be exhausted but I also think it'll be fine as externals are only as bad as you convince yourself they are and I'm going in with the fact of I have to hit the numbers on the program so just gotta suck up and get it done but hopefully being at the comp and seeing everyone have a good day will motivate me and bring back that fire a little bit and help me enjoy training again but i guess we'll see so yeah gonna wrap it up here hope you have enjoyed if you have please leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you on monday hopefully if i get time to edit the video for the next one Stop.